and welcome to the backstory for the week ending January 25th, 2014, where I delve into the backstory behind the anime and manga news of the week. Today we're going to focus on a story out of Studio Ghibli about the fact that they're going to be releasing Princess Mononoke and The Cat Returns on Blu-ray. Now, Ghibli has been approaching the, their Blu-ray releases differently than a lot of other companies do. Rather than just churn out Blu-rays as quickly as they can, they've been taking their time with each release, uh, at least domestically. What's interesting here is that this, they're, they're planning to do the same thing with their international releases of this, i.e. they're going to tell their international distributors, here's a Blu-ray release, go ahead and release this in your locales. Uh, Studio Ghibli's normal system is to provide the material to the distributors, the distributors assemble something, and then submit it back to Studio Ghibli for approval, and of course you go back and forth like that. But Studio Ghibli is hands-off in terms of the the day-to-day -day assembly of those things, but they maintain very tight control of what can or can't be on there. Um, so the fact that they're basically doing all the assembly or much of the assembly themselves and then sending that out to the distributors is, is quite unusual. They also mentioned that uh, there's, there's one more Ghibli film that's not been put out on Blu-ray, and but it's going to be worth the wait, as they said, and that's a quote. That's going to be Spirited Away. So depending on something special for the Spirited Away Blu-ray release, it should be interesting to see um, where that goes. One of the other side effects of this is this, this implies that that Blu-ray package is going to be fixed, i.e. we're not going to be able to get an inexpensive Blu-ray release of this if Studio Ghibli provides something that has lots of extras and materials on it. So that limits what the distributors can or can't do and how they can respond to the market. You know, Over here, anime fans don't really want to pay for things, it seems like. Um, certainly not for more expensive stuff. So we'll see what effect that has on the industry. But it's certainly an unusual thing for Studio Ghibli to do. So that's the backstory. It can be short and sweet this week. Thanks for watching.